in the first battle, 13 drones were shot down. How powerful is China's laser weapon? The United States feels pressure to lead the world. Let's take a closer look in this video. With the rapid improvement of the military strength of various countries, various advanced weapons have emerged. In addition to hypersonic weapons and space weapons, laser weapons have also become important weapons that countries are vying to build. According to related sources, the Saudi military had previously purchased China's Silent Hunter laser weapon. In the first battle, the laser weapon successfully intercepted 13 Houthi suicide drones in Yemen, and the actual combat results were refreshed again. It is reported that the Silent Hunter laser weapon system was imported from China by Saudi Arabia and can effectively intercept small low-altitude flying targets. In addition, it is the first laser weapon in the world to participate in actual combat and it has helped Saudi Arabia turn defeat into victory in actual combat. So even if the products for export have reached such a level, what level will China's self-use products reach? How powerful are China's laser weapons today? While everyone was focusing on the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, things started to happen in the Middle East. Saudi Arabia was attacked by the Houthi armed forces before, and the oil facilities under attack were ablaze and black smoke rose high. During that time, Saudi Arabia was attacked by Houthi forces in Yemen almost every day. At first it was artillery shells, rockets, and later various drones. In 2019, Houthi armed drones successfully attacked a large oil refinery in northern Saudi Arabia, causing tens of millions of dollars in economic losses. This gave Saudi a headache. They imported Patriot anti-aircraft missiles from the United States, but these missiles are all aimed at large weapons with a large body and prominent targets. But there is really no way to deal with such low-flying, large number, key and cheap attack weapons like drones. It's like using anti-aircraft guns to fight mosquitoes, and you can't use millions of missiles to fight a drone that costs tens of thousands or even only a few thousand dollars. Therefore, on the battlefield, the threat of drones is becoming more and more serious and its effective defense has almost become a worldwide problem. At this time, China's laser weapons came. Unexpectedly, China's Silent Hunter directly shot down 13 drones and completely destroyed them. This made the Saudi Ministry of Defense overjoyed and increased the purchase of Chinese weapons. China's Silent Hunter has also become the world's first laser weapon that is actually used in actual combat, which has aroused everyone's speculation about the level of laser weapons, especially domestic laser weapons. In fact, as early as the 1950s, the United States and the Soviet Union began the research and development of laser weapons. Although China only started to explore the laser field in the 1960s and lagged behind the United States and the Soviet Union at the beginning, China has already made major breakthroughs in many aspects. This achievement even surpasses that of the United States and some laser weapons have already been used in the military. It is understood that in the field of laser weapon research and development, China's five core technologies are already far ahead of other countries in the world. Many countries have also successively developed this future weapon. At present, only the United States can approach China's technology, but the gap is still very large. China's laser weapon development technology is also becoming more and more mature, and the United States is always paying attention to China's laser field and is very nervous about the development speed of China's laser weapons. Why do we say that? Because the laser weapon is powerful and controllable. 
Secondly, the range of laser weapons is very long, and the charging time is also very short. The most important point is that laser weapons can be used in space. Because the weapon itself does not need the support of gunpowder, laser is undoubtedly the best option for the development of space weapons. In fact, as early as a few years ago, the Silent Hunter laser weapon was first revealed at the defense exhibition held in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Once this laser weapon came out, it was said by many people that it was very similar to the one developed by the United States, and both of them used the design scheme of heavy-duty military truck chassis equipped with laser weapons. However, in terms of output power, China's Silent Hunter is an absolute victory, even reaching three times that of similar products in the United States. It can deal with 10 target laser weapons within one minute, which is also a place where the Chinese can be absolutely confident. Because China is indeed ahead of the United States in this field. At the 13th Zhuhai Air Show in 2021, Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation demonstrated a laser defense system model LW-30. This system consists of a radar command and communication vehicle, a laser launch vehicle, and a logistics support vehicle. It is installed on a six-wheels high-mobility truck chassis, which can adapt to different terrains, has great maneuverability, and it can successfully lock the target within six seconds. In one experiment it intercepted more than 30 targets, which is very rare in the world. In addition, China Ordnance Industry Group also exhibited a laser weapon system modeled as OW-5. Compared with the LW-30 laser defense system, the launching device of the OW-5 laser weapon is received in the compartment and has the ability to launch all items, and the system integration is higher. Moreover, it is also equipped with a phase-controlled seismic radar with single-sided vibration, which has a stronger ability to search for long-distance targets. This also shows from one aspect that China has come to the forefront of the world in the development of laser weapon to air defense systems. The above public weapons can only be regarded as part of the achievements in China's laser technology field. Many viewers have heard of Death Ray A. This heavy laser weapon system in China has always been a mystery. In 2017, Canada's Hanha Defense Weekly revealed that China's Death Ray A can not only deal heavy blows to incoming drones, stealth fighters, and ballistic missiles, but can also deal huge damage to enemy nuclear submarines. We all know that the laser is emitted along a straight line, and it is impossible to turn at a directional light speed. From this point of view, it is difficult for the enemy's fast-moving nuclear submarines hidden under the sea to be hit by lasers. This has been a blank slate in the laser world for many years. Fortunately, after more than 20 years of hard work, Chinese scientific researchers have finally found a solution. That is to use laser satellite relay warfare or satellite reflection warfare. According to some sources, China's laser weapon test took a total of 2.5 seconds from finding and locking the target to destroying the simulated enemy, nuclear submarine. After 5.2 seconds of continuous irradiation, the submarine's protective layer began to vaporize. So far, only China has mastered this difficult technology, and even the United States has not broken through the bottleneck. However, the above is only in the land-based and sea-based fields. If this technology is applied to air combat, laser weapons will be carried on fighter planes. The effect is even more irresistible. In fact, China may have made new breakthroughs in this regard. Everyone knows that as a fifth-generation aircraft, the J-20 is not equipped with cannons. 
There are some views on this that it is very likely that they want to equip laser weapons instead of cannons. If this is the case, the close combat capability of the J-20 will be revolutionarily improved. In addition, the latest generation of laser weapons currently developed by China can not only effectively deal with those ultra-high-speed reconnaissance planes that break in without authorization, but also can make the laser guidance and infrared guidance of stealth fighters fail. Perhaps it is precisely because of the above reasons that the U.S. military feels unprecedented pressure. Speaking of this, do you suddenly realize that it is no wonder that the U.S. military has begun to try to paint metal mirrors on small stealth fighters? It turns out that it is to deal with laser technology. However, just by painting stealth fighters, is it really useful to think about anti-laser? The U.S. military should use the principle of refraction in doing so, hoping to reduce the damage caused by laser light through refraction. But any dust and dirt may affect the refraction effect, so this means that it is difficult to use refraction to reflect laser light based on existing technologies. In addition, it needs to be pointed out that the F-22 fighter has been exposed many times before to have various problems such as paint peeling and blistering and must be carefully cared for in a hangar with constant temperature and constant facilities. So this time the US military used metal mirror coating to save the fifth generation aircraft. Is this measure really reliable? For this question, I am afraid that there is still a big question mark. In fact, China's laser weapon technology is far ahead of the United States, and it is preliminarily judged that it has the dual capabilities of tactically attacking opponents and strategically deterring opponents. Whether it is the U.S. military painting metal mirrors on stealth fighters, or the Pentagon reporting that China's laser weapons can destroy U.S. satellites, it fully shows that the U.S. is really afraid of this sharp weapon. However, the development of any science and technology is like sailing against the current. If you don't advance, you will retreat. China's technology is already one step ahead. However, the opponent's countermeasures have never stopped, so the Chinese never take it lightly. In short, the future has a long way to go. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.